Hello, this is Peter with PM Designs, and in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of ways to model lightning, which you know hopefully should look like this, which I think isn't isn't too bad. Um, yeah, so th th there's a both ways are very easy. It's just one takes a bit longer than the other. Um, so let's just get on with it immediately. Get rid of all this stuff. I want to bring this up here. Right. So let me get rid of all this stuff. I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. So this is the one which I just modeled. So I'll show you the first way, um, which takes a bit of time, but um, it gets a nice, like, realistic, you know, whatever looking piece of lightning. So I'm just going to bring in a mesh. Leave my screencast keys on. Um, it's going to bring in a mesh, a plane, sorry, select one vertex, press control and I. So I select all the other vertices. That's right, one vertex, one vertex, and then press control and I. Get all the other vertices, and then X and V, get rid of those. So I'm left with one vertex here. And then I'm going to do something really, really long. Hey, where did it go? It's here. I'm just going to extrude out and follow that path, and we get, you know, that way we can get as true to real lightning as possible and I'm not going to do that all the way along but yeah so you see I would just go all the way down and then you know if you really want to make it look nice you can get in there as well follow all the separate branches yeah and so on and you would go all the way down that is one technique to get one realistic looking piece of lightning um, you see you know it looks quite quite nice already but um, anyway so the next one I'm going to show you is a way that you can get a lot more, bolt, uh, many, many more bolts of lightning uh, and quite quickly. But it won't look as as branchy as that previous one. So I've got my mesh again and I'm just going to add an ocean modifier, which it does that. And I'm going to go down to spectrum and change the spectrum to an established ocean. and then. You just don't worry about why. Go and go into waves, and I'm going to whack the choppiness right up. You could go higher than that if you wanted to. Let's put it on 10. Why not? Oh, 10. I am allowed to put it on 10. No? All right, I was before. Let's try 5 then. All right, fine. Anyway, don't you hate it when computers tell you you can't do something? I'm going to apply that modifier, and yeah, we got a crazy mess. So now I'm going to go through and I'm going to select a load of edges all pointing in the same direction and da -da 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 get a load of those I'm not going to do that many but let's say I got that many alright and then you could go all the way across and get all of them P separate by selection switch back to object mode we don't need this ocean anymore but there you go you see we've got these lovely random bolts here so I'm just gonna work with a couple of these uh, we'll grab this one maybe maybe Oh, because I'm on face select mode, that's why. Let's get rid of that one, move him over here, and grab this one. And so I actually did some research about lightning bolts. I went and stood on top of a mountain with my phone out during a thunderstorm, and I noticed that most of them were actually just single bolts like this. There weren't that many with separate branches coming off. Um, something about C, was it? Cloud to ground. There's positive cloud to ground and negative cloud to ground charge lightning bolts, and there are things called leaders, which actually like are like a an invisible tunnel which comes down for the lightning to travel through, and some of it actually comes up from the ground. Anyway, so I noticed that most of them were just single bolts, but just to say if you wanted to make it look a bit more interesting and have you know like these branches, I would just grab another another one of these, shrink it down, bring it over here, rotate it, yeah, and let's just join those by. On those two vertices like that. There we go. Got one like that. So let's say you want to do. You know, you've got lots of different lightning bolts. What we need to do next is a little bit long. You could do it all as one object, um, but I'm just going to do it for now. I'm going to do it as. Uh, I'm going to separate this one to a different object. So I've got this one. I'm going to convert to a curve. Uh, I like converting things to curves because it gives you a lot of control over the thickness of certain points. So we go down to the, uh, sorry, where's it gone? Round, depth, bring that up a bit. Yeah, see where I'm going with this? Probably can. You could bring the resolution up, but it doesn't really matter because it's going to be. We're going to make it blindingly bright. Did you know? Random fact: lightning burns 
five times hotter than the surface of the sun. It's crazy. That's why my phone was burned to a crisp when I woke up in a hospital. Anyway, um, right, done that. We go to edit mode, and I'm just going to make these tips a little bit smaller. So when you're when you're editing the the points, the control points of a curve, and you're editing the size, you press Alt and S, and then you can bring those down. Let's put proportional editing on actually, and we can have a bit more influence over the rest of it, something like that. And then I want to make the the main branch of it a bit thicker as well, something like that. Okay looks pretty cool and then that's it yeah you you know I could go and get before converting it to a curve you need to build it because you can't you can't connect one uh, one set of vertices to a curve or you know if you then converted this to a mesh you know it's gonna end up like this and it's really hard to start connecting pieces so I would just get it all get the shape you want first then convert it to a curve and then all you need to do is add your um, material which is just an emission, emission BSDF. A little bit blue, why not? You can make it a little bit green if you wanted to. Whack it on something like 70, or let's just do 100. Excuse me, oh, I know why it's not working, because my num lock is off. And we're gonna do this in Eevee, because in Eevee you get this nice bloom effect, like this, pow, look at that. Cool, huh? So that's it. So, yeah, maybe 100's a bit much, something like 70. And yeah, looks all right, huh? Looks pretty good. Um, that's it for this video. I am going to make another video showing you how you can animate it, get a nice animated effect. In fact, let me bring back my other one to show you what the final animated effect would look like. Get rid of all this stuff. Uh, what have we got here? I've got that one. Yeah, and so if I just click animate on that, yeah, I'll show you how to get this kind of animation going. Not perfect, but it does the job. Anyway. I'll do that in another video. So thanks for watching. If you found that useful, please click that like button.